Welcome to part two of lesson four. In the last lesson, we learned to flash the RGB LEDs and create some sounds. In this lesson, we'll continue to discover the RGB blocks and create some more complex programs. So this time we're going to do two different loops. So remember in the last lesson with the sound, where we played the Frere Jacques tune, we used a different kind of loop. This loop is uh, restricted to repeating only the amount of times that we tell it to. So we're going to have two separate loops which repeat only twice. So if we change the uh, number 10 to number 2, and then we're going to duplicate two of these. So in the first loop, all I want it to do is show one color and switch off. And then in the second block, I want to show it changing from one color to another. So you can see here that we can have multiple loops within one loop. Okay, let's go in there. I'm going to fill this out quick. RGB bar color again. Set it to black. Add a delay in between. We're going to set a shorter delay this time. And I want you to experiment of changing this delay to see if you can get the lights to flash uh, faster or slower. So I'm going to add the value of 0 0.2. And then in our second loop, I'm going to be controlling the left and right RGB bars independently again. So this time in the first part, in the first section of this loop, I'll set one side to this color and set the the right side to black or off and then we'll duplicate both of these and I'll set the left to black or off and I'll set the right to blue color I remember we need to add our timer blocks in there Again, I'm going to make this a pretty short delay. Just going to add 0 0.2 seconds in there. And there we go. Let's upload that program. You can see it flashes left and right over and over again. So we've got two separate loops within a loop. Okay, now if we wanted more control, we could try then, instead of just having it repeatedly looping, we might want a few different light effects to be controlled by the A, B, and C buttons of the M5 stack. We've previously done this with other outputs of the M5 stack, such as controlling the sounds with the buttons, so you should have no problem in doing this. We're going to drag in button A was pressed, and then we'll duplicate this twice and change them to buttons B and C. Okay, so now what I want to do is have, when I press the A button, we can have a simple back and forth flash. I'll repeat it for a few times. And then when I press the B button, we have the left and right flash different colors. And then when I press the C button, it's going to show lots of different colors on each of the individual LEDs of each RGB bar. Okay, so let's get rid of what I had in the main loop. And initially, I want it to loop with just uh, a black. Just have it black if there is no uh, button pressed. Okay, now if I want to press button A, again, I'll have that repeat block in there, repeat 10 times, so I get a nice 
loop for a few times of the flashing have all of the RGB bars set to one color then have them all turn off add the timer in for the flash again setting it to a short duration okay now for button B drag another repeat loop in there this time I'm gonna set it to shorter I'll set it to repeat for only five times then you'll be able to see the difference you get the left and the right bars in there And then we're going to add the tone in. So button C is essentially the same as our police car program that we made before. And you'll notice that I'm not adding delay in here because when the music plays for one beat, that's essentially uh, like the weight. So when the, when the music when the music block is in there and it's playing for one beat that essentially is delaying the colors okay and I'm going to change the tones set that to a middle G sharp okay now for our final block for button B I'm going to set each of the individual colors so I'm going to duplicate a bunch of these I'm going to have one bar f I'm going to have one block for each of the 10 LEDs so I'll have to duplicate this 10 times and then I can change the values as I go and now I'll change the colors of each of these you can choose any colors you want and then finally we'll add a weight block at the end okay that's our program done for now let's test it out when we press the A button we see it run press the B button then it starts to play the flashing and the sound then press the C button and there it go so in this lesson, we're able to control the lights to flash on and off, and then we created a police siren. We also were able to control all of the LEDs individually and make it flash. Let's see what you can come up with. We could do all kinds of different animations, chasing lights along each of the bars. We could have the lights pulsing in time to the music, perhaps. It's entirely up to you. See what you can do, and if you get stuck, you can always leave a question in the comments or send us a message, and we'll see you in the next lesson.